Assess the skin for transparency, cracks, veins, peeling, and wrinkles. In preterm infants, the skin ranges from translucent and friable. In postterm infants, it will appear leathery, cracked, and wrinkled. Check for lanugo in the infant. So lanugo is very fine body hair. In extremely preterm, there'll be none. In the third trimester, most fetuses have plentiful lanugo. Closer to term, the body hair begins to thin. In term infant, there's very little lanugo. In post-term infants, it's nearly absent. Inspect the plantar surface of the foot for creases. In term infants, they will have creases over the entire plantar surface. In preterm infant, it ranges from absent to faint red markings. Inspect the breast to assess the size of the breast bud in millimeters and the development of the areola. In term infants, they have a raise to a full areola with breast buds that are 3 to 10 millimeters in diameter. In preterm infant, there's a lack of developed breast tissue. Check the eyes and ears of the infant by analyzing the ear cartilage and the shape of the pina. Determine the ear recoil by folding the pina down and assessing how quickly it returns to its previous position. So I'll take this side and fold it over. In term infants, they will have a well-curved pina with firm cartilage. In preterm infants, the pina, which is the outer ear, is less curved and they also may have fused eyelids. Observe the genitals for physical maturity. For male infants, the testes usually descend near the term and rugae, which are the ridges or folds, are visible on the scrotum. Palpate the testes to determine if they have descended. With extreme prematurity, the scrotum is flat and smooth. For females at term, the labia majora is larger than the clitoris and the labia minora. Preterm newborns have a prominent clitoris and a small labia minora.